And in this corner, the bully beating my ass every day. Time to whoop him back. Mission begins now. Remember your Enemy flamethrower observed. Get to cover. Paratroopers inbound. What is up guys, it is your boy Deadly Thumbs and today we're going to tell a little story about the first fight that I was ever in. Now, it wasn't really fighting, I was getting my ass kicked because I didn't fight back, you know, my grandma or everyone else told me you don't fight back, you just put your hands down, go to a teacher. Finally, my stepdad, which is now deceased and I miss him so much, he told me, he says, uh, Next time you come home with a black eye, me and you's going to have a problem. You know, something needs to be done. You need to be fighting back, you know. And I, and I wouldn't fight back. So finally, I came home one day and, you know, my dad, my stepdad, I consider him my dad. Uh, he said, look, he said something that always stuck through my mind, you know. And he told me, he says, you should be more scared of not trying than of getting your ass whipped. Now mind you, I was only in first second grade. <laughs> but I get on the bus and this kid comes at me. Swinging and showing his ass and as soon as he did, I grabbed him and slang him and his head went into the bus window. I got on top of him and I gave him as much hell as I possibly could. When this kid finally got up, he was covered head to toe in blood. I mean, for adolescence, we were going at it. It was like a cockfight, you know what I mean? And by cockfight, I mean, you know, we get the roosters or whatever, fucking throw them in there and let them go at it. Well, it was like that. It was like there was just blood everywhere, except for it wasn't a two-way streak. I was on top of this kid, and I... I mean, for every time he ever hit me, for every time he ever did anything to me, I just put the pressure on and I kept going and people tried to pull me off and I had so much enraged anger. Now, I'm a big believer in turning the other cheek and walking away. It saves lives because you never know what can happen. You can fall, your nose can get busted on something, it can jar it in your brain. I was just tired of being picked on, so finally, I knuckled up against a bully, and when I got suspended, I come home, and my dad looks at me, and he goes, I heard what you did today in school. Like, really? You know, so I'm looking at him, and I'm scared, I'm trembling, I'm like, uh, uh, he was like, get your fishing pool, we're going fishing. So me and him went fishing that whole day, we talked about it, got to talk about man stuff. Um, but the problem after that was I kept getting in fights. Until I got into amateur fighting, I was getting in a fight every other day. And I was getting suspended constantly. And, you know, he created a monster. And he even said that, you know. He said, what have I done? What have I created? <laughs> but anyways, going back, that was my first fight. Let me know down below what you thought about the story. And if you have one of your own that you would like to tell. Well, until next time, guys, I want you to enjoy the rest of this video. It is seven minutes long, so you can enjoy the rest of the video. Or you've heard everything I had to say to this point. So until next time, guys, I am Deadly Thumbs. Let me know if you guys would like me to do shout-out videos or what you would like to see more of. Until next time, guys, I am Deadly Thumbs, and I approve this message. Enjoy the rest of the show.